Hello everybody and welcome. This is Victoria at Radiant Moon Tarot. This is your weekly tarot forecast for March 1st through 7th, 2021. And this is for all Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. As always, this is a general and intuitive reading, so not every message that comes out will be for all of you. Just take the parts that resonate with you and leave the rest behind. If you are new to my channel, welcome in, and if you're returning, then welcome back, and I truly appreciate all of your likes, shares, subscribes, and your wonderful energy. I'm truly grateful for each and every one of you. So, let's see where we go. First out, we have why coming out. Questioning your motives, knowing what you want and why you want them, and we have message in the bottle as well, so some of you are getting some uh, news this week. All right, let's see where else we go. I'll go deeper into those in a minute, but I'm going to pull your tarot first. Messages for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, please. All right, we are ready. So current situation, the heart of the matter, and we have the King of Wands. Okay, what's crossing you? The Eight of Wands. What is beneath you, you're unconscious. What is driving you forward is the nine of coins. Advice from spirit this week, the five of coins. What's crowning you, your goals, your thoughts, your possibilities, the ace of coins, beautiful. And your outcome energy, we have the knight of cups. All right. So to start out, we have why. All right, it's card number 31. It breaks down into a four. Okay, that's foundational energy. So some of you are doing some uh, soul searching this week. Um, you're looking at your life and, you know, you're like, what do I want? Where do I want to go? You're questioning everything. Uh, some of you might be questioning your beliefs. Questioning your job, perhaps. Even your relationships, all right? And I see some people making a list, you know, pros and cons. What do I want to do? Spirit says here with this one is that make sure that your intentions are all in alignment. Know why you're doing what you're doing. Why do you want this new job? Why do you, um, you know, have the relationships that you have, right? Um, all about that deep inner knowing um, that gets you into alignment with where you want to go. So it's always important to know the why of why you do things, all right? <clears throat> you could also be asking other people why, right? Um, you know, what are their intentions? Where do they want to go, right? Some of you might be having that relationship conversation, perhaps, and knowing that, you know, you're on the right page or the same page, I should say, with your person. We have message in the bottle. Okay, this is beautiful. All right, so some of you are getting a message out of the blue, this coming week, if you've been looking for a job, okay, it's uh, time for that energy to start flowing back to you. You've put yourself out there a million times over. All right, so the messages are going to start coming in this week. Um, if you're looking for a new love, okay, you, um, you know, that energy is also starting to flow this week for you as well. Okay, there's a lot of communication around uh, around the week ahead for all of you. All right, so if you've been, um, I feel for some of you've had your, your eye on something, whether that's a person or an opportunity, okay, you might be the one that actually reaches out and takes that first step, right? Once you know exactly what you want. For some, this is a surprise coming in, some sort of good news, okay? This is very good news coming in regardless of your situation, no matter what it is. Some of you could be getting that promotion, that raise, that new financial opportunity, okay? And we do have both, um, we do have both financial uh, money money uh, cards on the table, and we also have uh, some love for some of you as well. So we've got both those things going here. So the heart of the matter, the King of Wands. Now this is beautiful energy. The King of Wands is. Uh, uh, full of passion, fire, creativity, inspiration. I feel that you are already in a pretty good place, okay? And you are um, pretty successful in your life so far. And it doesn't matter how old you are, right? You can have success at any, any age. 
And you can also have a lot of maturity at any age, right? People's experiences is actually what makes them mature, not their age. Um, the King of Wands is a masculine energy, but it can be male or female, not a gender specific reading, right? It's all about the energy. Um, people may look to you for inspiration, for guidance. You're an influencer, uh, whether you realize it or not. Okay. And in this energy, you're going to take action. So it's beautiful energy to be right in the center of your reading. All right. Now, for some of you, this can be a person that you're dealing with. All right. And, uh, you know, you're thinking of moving forward of making contact with this person. Okay. Um, this can represent a boss. Okay. Someone in a leadership role that can actually help move you forward. And, uh, it feels as though you're just waiting on them to, um, <laughs> okay. Um, to get their head out of the sand. Okay. I don't know. Who, I don't know who, uh, I don't know who used that, but anyways, get their head out of the sand and make a decision already. Okay. So, <clears throat> um, I feel like you're waiting for that person to do that. That could be your boss. That's, um, uh, trying to make a decision on who to promote, right? You might've thrown your hat in the ring for, uh, for that. All right. Um, this could also be your person, your partner, uh, someone that you're, um, looking to move forward with, right? It feels very solid and stable. Okay. But, um, there's a little bit of stagnation there. So it's, uh, either communication or forward movement, perhaps leveling up in your relationship. Crossing you, we have the eight of wands. So this is about positive news coming in. So there's a delay. Okay. There's some sort of delay, but with that eight of wands and that message in a bottle, okay. The, it feels like the, uh, communication is going to start to flow again. And it feels like, <clears throat> excuse me, it feels like the block is either you, if you're coming out as this king of wands or your person, okay. Um, a boss, a, um, uh, a romantic partner, perhaps okay, someone in your life that would be representative of that king of wands energy, someone fiery and bold and passionate. Okay. And, um, you know, someone who, who of course is a leader of sorts. All right. And who you really look up to and who plays a very important role in your life. Okay. So, uh, so both of those energies are coming out for me with that King of Wands, either that's you or that's someone that you're dealing with. Okay. But again, that, uh, that minor delay in communication and forward momentum. So for some of you, that message in a bottle, that's your communication is going to start to flow. And it just feels as though it's just being a temporary delay. Your person may have been, um, busy with other things, had a lot of priorities that they're trying to juggle. Okay. And for others, I feel that you are going to be the mastermind of moving yourself forward, right? You're going to take that bull by the horns because that King of Wands energy, um, that is not a sit and, sit and still energy at all. Okay. And I feel that you're going to be the one that moves things forward. Okay. Um, you're tired of sitting around and you're like, for crying out loud, you know what? Make a freaking decision already. Let's move forward. Okay. So, but there is some positive delay, positive, sorry, news in there. And it just feels like there was a bit of a delay. Okay. So things should start to, um, unfold <clears throat> what's beneath you. This is, uh, your foundational energy. What's your unconscious driving you forward. All right. The nine of coins. So, uh, for some of you, it's your money that you're thinking of right now. And this is what's on your brain. What do I want? Where do I want to go? You have a certain level of, uh, self-sufficiency already, um, and you're looking to enjoy the fruits of your labor. Um, some of you, this, uh, this eight of wands delay here with this king of wands, this could be perhaps travel delays. Um, you've, uh, put, th put things on the back burner for a while. Um, because that nine of coins is really about not only have you made a certain amount of success for yourself, but you're also looking to, um, reward yourself, give yourself a treat. Um, you know, you've done all that hard work to get where you are and to your level of stability. And, um, you know, so you're, you're looking to reward yourself, right? Have a break, have a vacation. And that's been the delay so far. Um, things are slowly starting to get better in the world. There's a lot of stuck energy with forward momentum and making plans, right? And that's, you know, global pandemic and all that, right? So it looks like that's for some of you, that's that. Uh, that issue there, but it feels as though you're going to be breaking free. You're going to be a little inventive, I feel, to figure out how to break that stagnation and how to break out, so to speak. Okay. Um, but for others, there's that money and career uh, driving you forward. <clears throat> Advice from spirit. 
We have the five of coins. Okay, ask for help if you need it. Look for guidance. Um, leave no stone unturned. All right, this uh, five of coins, it can be about uh, a lack mentality, right? Like, you know, um, focusing on what you don't have rather than on what you do or rather than the opportunities that are available to you. So Spirit says with this, Focus on the positive, focus on the posi um, the possibilities that are before you. And you may need to get a little inventive. You may need to look outside the box. Um, sometimes this help or these opportunities can come from people, um, places or things that you didn't actually previously think about. But some of you, you need to ask. All right, because that five of coins can sometimes be about being stubborn. These people, they're poor, they're destitute, they're out in the cold. And there is a light right there and there's opportunities right there and they're not looking at it. They're not, uh, they're not taking it, you know, they're not um, uh, taking up someone's offer. They're not taking those steps to uh, move themselves forward. So get your uh, intentions in alignment with that Y card, okay? And then you are the one that is going to need to break yourself free and ask for help. Look for opportunities that might not be directly in front of your face, right? So it's up to you to think positive and to look forward. What's crowning you, your goals, your possibilities, what you're thinking about. We've got the ace of coins. So money, financial opportunity. This is beautiful. Okay. This is a very fortunate card. Very lucky card. All right. Um, it's a gift from spirit. The aces are always gifts. And what it is, is that it's that initial opportunity and it's up to you to grab hold of it, take it, run with it and move forward. Right. This um, this angel on this card is is, you know, looking mesmerized by this golden opportunity that that she holds in her hand. And it's up to her to take it and go through that portal and make something of herself and make something with it. So for some of you, this is that new job, that bonus, that raise, that opportunity. OK, um, for some of you, this can be a new relationship. All right, because we do have the Knight of Cups coming out here as well. So this can be a new relationship that you're looking for, um, something that is very stable, okay? That Ace of Co the Ace of Coins is that new beginning with stability attached to it, success attached to it. Some of you could be meeting a new person in your work environment, okay? But whatever that is for you, whatever your situation, okay, it's that golden opportunity that's right there crowning you. Okay, all it needs is this energy, this forward momentum, this communication to be unleashed for you. Okay, so again, you might need to take the bull by the horns with that and you might need to be the one that actually takes those steps forward to release that stagnation. And your outcome energy, beautiful. We've got the Knight of Cups coming out here for you. So this is, uh, for some, this is moving forward successfully doing what you love. Okay, that uh, that opportunity that gives you the opportunity to create, um, to love what you do, gives you that emotional satisfaction. All right, it's not just any old job or any old position. It's something that you dreamed of that you're in love with. All right, for others of you, this is your uh, either a new person, okay, or your current person taking action. Um, for some, it can be an engagement, a leveling up in your relationship. Okay, it's a very successful forward moving energy um, for those that are looking for love. All right. Someone has uh, love on the mind. Okay. Um, sweep you off your feet energy. Okay. And it really, it really goes in line with that ace of coins. So again, for some of you, especially with that Y energy coming out, I feel some of you are going to meet this person at, um, in your work environment. Okay. Whether it's where you currently work or somewhere where you will work um, in the future, okay? So something something centered around uh, around your workplace with that, okay? But it's a beautiful outcome energy, lots of, um, um, lots of creativity and emotion, and we are entering into Pisces season, okay? And there's, um, uh, Venus is entering into Pisces, so there's a lot of love around, a lot of um, creative energies. Okay, and a lot of forward momentum, right? So it's um, very emotional time for a lot of people, and um, it's really it's really the time where people start to um, not just go for the gold. Okay, that Ace of Coins is that going for the gold energy, um, but also wanting that um, emotional connection, that uh, creativity uh, to come with it. All right. So for some of you, that Knight of Cups is uh, you know you you're getting swept off your feet. 
okay? Um, but that's also that creativity unleashed, right? Something that allows you to move forward. So I'm gonna leave that there for you, but I'm gonna close out your reading, this beautiful energy, I'm gonna close out your reading with a divine door. Let's see what is behind your doors. I think I'm gonna get two for you. Oops, there's the one. And I get one more of these for you, please. And we'll get that one. So there's your first door. And it says, yes, kiss the ground and touch the sky. Your soul is set now to leap and to fly. Beautiful, okay, beautiful, yes, right? And we do have this, this positive communication and this forward momentum that's, that's gonna start to go here. And there's your second door. And it says, the sacred lotus, compassion in action, the chosen tool. I see now the lotus in your spirit's jewel. All right, beautiful, beautiful messages there for you guys, okay? So lots of positive momentum, positive um, news, okay? Keep your eyes peeled. And for those of you that you need to be the ones to take some action, take that action, okay? Now is the time. Be a little bit bold, okay? Go for what you want. Go for that gold, okay? So I'm going to leave that there for you. Hopefully there was messages in here that helped you out for the week ahead. If so, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And... Um, uh, I hope you have the most wonderful week ahead for you, okay? So I thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.